Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time, when we left off, we had just found Van Bruggen's recording in the data core at Tai Young Medical, and our new objective is to ascend all the way to the penthouse to confront Zhao Yun Ru, also known as the Dragon Queen. So here we are, back at the data core. Let's survey our new objective right quick. M2, entering the dragon's lair. Primary objective is confront Zhao in the penthouse. Megan and her team are still alive, and Zhao Yanru, Taiyang Medical CEO, can tell me where they are, provided I break into her private penthouse and confront her. Alright, let's see what we can find in this room. Besides the recording we just watched, there's an ebook. A Frontier Too Far, The State of Space, circa 2027. An impoverished NASA and a marginalized European Space Agency mean the dream of travel to Mars and beyond goes unfulfilled. Only China's and America's militaries field regular flights, watching each other down the barrels of their particle cannons. In space, the coldest of Cold Wars rumbles on, echoing the NATO-Soviet confrontations of the 1980s. At present, the only space science of any note is taking place at Moonbase Omega, a small colony near Clavius. Plans to expand the facility exist, but it may be some time before they come to fruition. However, in near-Earth orbit, corporate interests thrive, with automated orbital factories producing materials in microgravity environments among constellations of communications and spy satellites. Other plans for space commercialization are in development, including an orbital resort for the mega-rich. A slow and steady corporate takeover of the high frontier looms. And that's it for now, so let's head out this door. And we find ourselves with a laser system to sneak through. As you can see, this is not difficult to accomplish, it's just a matter of timing. Well done, Mr. Jensen. Archive A2 and Archive A3. Now there are a few things to watch out for up here. In these offices, because I left Narhari Khan alive in the Alice Garden pods, he'll be here along with four other guards. Anyway, let's hack and disable this alarm panel get our 75 experience points. I see two data stores and only one way to get to either of them. Easy enough. Damn, I should have nuked to that. I think I can still get through in time. Access granted. Stop worm, nuke virus, 75 XP, and the alarm has been disabled. Wonderful. Before I break into any archives, let's see what's out here. I see two bad guys. Oh, and a camera. Oops. I tell you what, let's do the archive first. Here's archive A2. It's a level 3 lock, which, once again, I will hack open. I can get to the server node this time. As always, that's the easiest way to go. Access granted. 5 XP in the data store, plus 75 for the hack. And the door is now unlocked. So let's see what's in here. Looks like there are no goodies, but there is an unlocked computer for us to check out. From Narain Sanam to Quan Zimen, the Dutchman, 
Bad news, Peng says Windmill slipped their net. Somebody helped him, which means all those little Easter eggs he hid inside our systems just became our biggest security threat. Rally the team, we might have to go line by line till we find them. Narain. Alright, that's easy enough. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else in here, so let's check out Archive A3 before we head out into those offices. In here, we have a level 3 locked computer. So, let's hack into that. JFU, no code found. We would hack it even if we had the code, of course. Let's do hit the spam node. I think that's a good idea. Oh, that directory is useless. Access granted. 150 credits in the stop worm, plus 75 XP. From 419 at Scowling Mascot NI, do Fu Jia Yi. Urgent response needed. Attention, the President slash CEO. Dear Sir, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues and based on the information gathered from the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer the sum of 47,500,000 credits into your accounts. The above sum resulted from an over-invoiced contract executed, commissioned, and paid for about five years ago by a foreign contractor. This action was, however, intentional, and since then the fund has been in a suspense account at the Central Bank of Nigeria Apex Bank. We are now ready to transfer the fund overseas, and that is where you come in. It is important to inform you that as civil servants we are forbidden to operate a foreign account. That is why we require your assistance. The total sum will be shared as follows. 70% for us, 25% for you, and 5% for local and international expenses incident to the transfer. The transfer is risk-free on both sides. I am an accountant with the Nigerian National Transhumanism Corporation, NNTC. If you find this proposal acceptable, we shall require the following document. A. Your banker's name, telephone account, and fax numbers. B. Your private telephone and fax numbers for confidentiality and easy communication. C. Your letter-headed paper stamped and signed. Alternatively, we will furnish you with the text of what to type into your letter-headed paper, along with a breakdown explaining comprehensively what we require of you. The business will take us 30 working days to accomplish. Please reply urgently. Okay, now let's head into the archive, or the offices past the archives. It seems like my first order of business actually needs to be tracking down the security hub so I can shut off the camera. What are you doing here? Although, I do still need to avoid the guards. Nothing is ever easy. I guess that's the bottom line. Is that the security hub? I think it is. Let's just sneak in there. Yes, here we go. Another level 3 door pad to hack. A fairly complex grid, but we can get to the red. That's all that ever matters. One stop wormin. Now that I'm finally after the hacking stealth upgrades, I don't feel the need to be as conservative with my resources. Anyway, we got a nuke virus and a stop worm, plus 75 XP for the hack itself. Now that we're in here, let's turn, let's hack the security hub, which itself is level 2. Pretty complex grid, but again, we can get to the red. That makes all the difference. Two hundred XP in the data store. Access granted. Plus fifty for the hack. There's a robot somewhere. I'll leave that alone for now and just shut off the camera. Now, hopefully, I can arrange a double takedown for the two guards patrolling in here without too much fuss. Who the hell is that? I need to pay better attention, obviously.
Let's just see what these guys do. I can't try to lure them with a gunshot. With the alarm panels still active, or else they will hit them. I need to be a little bit more clever than that. Don't tell me you didn't hear that. Were you asleep or something? I think it came from around here. Oh, well, that's not going to help either. I think my best option is probably to visually pull the one off to the right out into the heavy rifleman's patrol path. Or audibly. Audibly would work too. Someone's running. Oh, I didn't imagine. Did you hear anything? Got to hit the alarm. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit the alarm. Can't have that. Can't have that. They're so close together, this is not only possible, it should be pretty easy. Don't tell me you didn't stop him! Damn. I need to move a little faster. Once I make the throw, anyway. Again. If I can just get the timing right, this should be good. Didn't quite get the timing right. Did I? No. Don't tell me to get him. No. Oh, my gosh. Freaking 
myself out. There's nothing here. They're not gonna pass close enough that time. to do better than that. This will work, though. I got it figured out. Never fear, viewers. Never fear. I always find a way. Alright, so I just need to pull the far guy into here and time it so that he comes in when the big fella's on his way back and I should be able to pull them together long enough to finally perform this double takedown and then get out of this stupid office. So I'm just keeping an eye on the radar to see where each of those fine gentlemen is. should have saved once I got in there. That was foolish of me.
This is actually pretty darn annoying. Mostly because I know I'll be screwed if I use a gunshot, which is what I'd normally do, but... They'll sound the alarm before they investigate, and we certainly can't have that. I haven't really explored the possibility of doing it from this side. That could well be easier. need some energy and I need to cloak immediately leave off it was nothing sounds like someone running can't pull them together, no matter how hard I try. I think this might be the easiest way. Let's make it so Anyone's I can cloak. Come out now. I think you're seeing and there it is. About dang time, I say. Alright, so that's two guys down. No problem. One's got a pocket secretary. Let's see what it says. Password update, Upper Management Security Hub, from TYM Security to all security staff. Password update. Please be advised that the current password for the Upper Management Security Hub inside the security room in Upper Management is PanguTYM, and the new username is GangL. Alright, pretty straightforward. While we're in here, we got, got a new Praxis Point, which I will spend on the first tier of Hacking Stealth. The other guy has 135 credits and an EMP grenade, both of which I definitely want. Now I need to hide both bodies behind this desk. You've probably noticed the security bot on the radar. We're going to deal with that next. 
Or at least, nah, let's... Let's make sure the other guards are all down first. Rival Corporation and Protag of Scotland. And Pro... Now there's Narhari Khan, hanging out in his office. Let me make sure we've got the other... Well, let me make sure I get the other two human guards. I'll just creep past him. Shouldn't really be any worries. Looks like the two guards are already together inside that room. So I will perf So I will sneak up on them, perform another double takedown, which ought to be much easier. The office is unlocked. I'm probably going to have to rush them, because they'll get suspicious when I open the door. Or not. That's handy. Hear about what happened with the boss in the hive? Did he choke out another big mouth? Where's chicken? So we're strolling through the hive, and this broad starts laughing at the boss's human, like she's never seen a bell tower guard before. Boss is already pissed off about what happened at the capsule hotel, so he gives her the stab of death. Boy, do I know that's there. Yeah. So the chick's boyfriend starts acting all tough and gets in his face for disrespecting his girl. So what does Khan do? He grabs both their heads and slams them into the bar. Bam! Nothing but blood and screams, man. Blood and screams. That was easy. Turns out I didn't need to use the pro energy bar or any kind of cloaking. That one has machine pistol ammo. That one's got 55 credits. Now, let's go take down Khan himself. Again. Which shouldn't be all that tough, except he's facing the door and will alert when it opens. I need to take him out before he goes hostile. Just like that, nice and easy. He's got 40 heavy rifle bullets and 500 credits. And with him down, I need to make sure everyone is well hidden. Yeah, good. I'm gonna go ahead and mine the pathway out of this station with two frag mines. Creep away. Head back to the security hub, release the bot so it gets blown up and we get that experience as well. And there it is. No problem. Now we can hack this alarm panel without fear of anything or anyone spotting us. Wow, no data stores. Access granted. We'll just disable the panel then. And now I can check out this office. So, inside the desk drawer, there's a Peps Energy Pack. Here we have another locked computer. So, let's hack it open. Access granted. 100 credits, 75 XP. From Gao Bo Chin to Hu Zixin, regarding biochips for Lim. It's a massive order, but when Madame Zhao barks, is there any other option but to deliver? I'll figure out something. Any idea what this thing does, or why Lim wants so many? Or am I just being stupid to even ask? Bogan. 
Hu Zishin wrote, Bogan, I've got the penthouse breathing down my neck about that new biochip order. We cannot have any production line screw-ups with this one. Can your line handle it? Because it has to be delivered to Lim Corporate for worldwide distribution within the week or it will be both our heads. Please tell me you can do it, Zishin. From Tang He to Hu Zishin, rush order. Zishin, I'm sending down a new nerve interface protochip that the penthouse wants mass produced and delivered to Lim as of yesterday. Paperwork to follow, but can you begin assembly line factoring as soon as you receive the chip and warn Bo Chin's team they'll have to manufacture it? This one's sensitive, Z. No one but you, me, and Bo Chin's team should see the chip. Hey. Alright, next desk. Search the drawer, find 50 credits. Next desk, search the drawer, find... 15 credits over here. Empty drawers. I don't think I ever properly searched this office. Let's check the drawer. One stun gun dart, and that's it. Now, let's check out this break room. Looks like we have an ebook. The next three decades in sickness and in health. The horror wrought by the Malaysian H5N1 variant viral outbreak in 2018, coming less than a decade after the 2009-2010 swine flu pandemic, showed the world that despite advances in medical technology, we as human beings are still just as much the prey to disease that we were during the era of the Black Plague or 1918's influenza occurrence. Scientists claim to be closer than ever to cures for cancer, for the AIDS, HIV virus, and other disease vectors, and we might hope that in the next 30 years these killers might be finally put to rest. But we must also consider that our changing world brings with it new iterations of old pandemics, and so we as a species will remain under the shadow of a threat from some new and as yet unencountered confluence of viral forms. Alright. These are not lockers, so... Let me check inside this room. It's a conference room. There's nothing on the table and the TV is off, which is fine. Let me check the other side. I just need to make sure the door isn't hackable or anything. Fancy fountains. And more desks to check. Stun gun darts in that drawer. And an unlocked computer. From Guo Liang Biyu to Liang Chao regarding marketing campaigns. Agreed, despite everything we're doing, there are a few vital markets that remain closed to us, and I do not relish having to explain to Ms. Zhao why this is so during our next monthly meeting. We need to discuss tactics. I will convene the marketing staff, ASAP, Biyu. In the past year, we have successfully upped our presence in several key markets, especially Sub-Saharan Africa and Latin America, where we were almost unknown a few years ago. But the target percentages she insists upon are really high. I think we need to be more aggressive with our marketing plan if we hope to make them. Ciao. This desk inside the drawer. Nothing. This desk. 45 credits. And on this desk... There's a pocket secretary in the drawer. Regarding urgent access code update from TYM security to Tong He, login and password update. Attention, due to malicious actions taken by a former employee, we have been forced to make universal repairs to our firewall and our communications network. As of the next business day, you will be required to use the below listed login and password information. Login HTON password 6iron. For security reasons, your current code will become invalid as of midnight tonight. The new code you have been given must be considered top secret. Do not divulge. Security, Tai Young Medical. Alright, that's easy enough. Of course, we won't be using the code. The computer's unlocked anyway. From Zhang Lili to Tong He regarding new biochip, absolutely not. She told me herself that the only people allowed to see it are you, Hui, and the lower factory workers Hui selects to manufacture it. Better choose a good team. It's a massive rush order for Lim, and we can't afford to have any rejects. Li Li. Tang He wrote, I just received the new nerve interface prototype the penthouse sent down. Where on earth did she get this device? From what I can tell, it is light years beyond anything our research teams have come up with. You're sure she wants it sent straight to manufacturing without letting research take a look at it first? Kanji and his boys could learn a lot by reverse engineering it. More desks, more computers. Empty drawers there. 
Empty drawer there. 65 credits in that one. 15 credits in that one, and another unlocked computer. From Tong Sheng Tiao to Yung Biu, what do you think? Hey YB, I had a sudden brainstorm last night. Zhao wants us to increase productivity in the factory, right? And most of the people working down there are dying to get moved upstairs, so what if we promise to make that dream come true by sending out an internal communication like this? The opportunity of a lifetime. You have dreamed about starting a new life in Upper Hangsha, where the air is pure and the possibilities are limitless. Now, Taiyang Medical is giving you the opportunity to live the Upper Hangsha lifestyle. Every month, each department will choose the employee who best represents Taiyang Medical's standards of business excellence. These employees will be entered into a draw to determine which lucky employees will be moved to the upper levels. Remember, it pays to excel at Taiyang Medical. Hell, if we actually have to pay out, we can always use a few more test subjects, right? Well, that's sure evil. Let's keep going. This drawer has 25 credits. This computer has a level 3 lock, which we will hack open. You can already see the difference our s hacking stealth upgrade is making. Access granted. 100 credits, 75 XP. From Gary Brasur at panchia.consortium.net to Wen Hu Lin, Hiren Project Assistance. When we've run into some difficulties regarding the interpretation of key design elements indicated in Panchia Blueprint R-01-8000, General Overview of Drone Suit and Rig. As a direct result of this failure, the drone elements installed in the core of the installation are expiring more quickly than we'd like. Can you guys send your original designer to the Arctic Station for a few days so we can consult? We'll arrange transport. Gary Brasur, Head Building Engineer, Panchea. Interesting. Nothing in that drawer. Pocket secretary in that drawer. Access code, management office. From TYM security to TYM administration. Password update. Please be advised that the current access code for the open space management office located in the open space offices is 2967. This drawer is empty. And we're done with this area, so let's move on now. You can see the sign pointing us to Zhao Yunru, CEO. But along the way, we have a third alarm panel to hack, so let's do that. We'll get to the red pretty easily. <laughs> Access granted. One stop worm, 75 XP. Alright. Let's see what's in here. It's like some kind of server room. Both doors start out unlocked. There's a vent here. Which I have little doubt will lead me to the security office. Where I have, of course, already taken care of business. After verifying that there's nothing else out here, we might as well thoroughly clean this place out. The weapon cabinet. We have a gas grenade and two machine pistols. The adjacent locker, two boxes of machine pistol ammo. The other locker is empty. Nothing on the desk. Inside this locker, we have a Peps along with a Peps energy pack. A crate. Nothing on that desk. That drawer has 35 credits. Can't seem to open that drawer. Computer is locked. Level 3. Let's move in. And go straight to the server node. Easy as pie. Access granted. 250 credits, 150 XP, and one stop worm. Pretty good. From TYM security to all security staff, access code management office, please be advised. 
for security reasons, we have had to change the access code to the office belonging to the Vice President of Business Affairs. It is now 3090. This code will be valid for the remainder of the month. Alright, I guess that's useful knowledge if you're not a hacker. Zhao Yenru's office is that way, so... Let's check out... Let's hack this door first. It's security level 4, so it's a little bit tougher, but... We can get to the red. I see the way. Access granted. 200 credits, 150 XP, a nuke virus, plus 100 XP for the hack itself. Now that we're in the office... Sounds like we have a new Lazarus radio. Which I'll listen to. We also have an unlocked computer. There's more of this to come, followers, so stay logged in. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about bullshit people. Bollocks if you're in London. Merde if you're in Paris. Scatter if you're in Athens. Poo poo ping pong if you're in fucking Beijing. It's all the same everywhere in the world. Let me keep you up on the latest pile of turd that's breaking news as of right now. Now this one is so fresh, it's still steaming, followers. It's so intense, you can't escape it. So, my apology if the stench leaks through the goddamn internet and into your homes. That's how foul this one is, folks. My homegirl Eliza tells us there's a glitch. Yes, sir. If you're one of the fortunate one twenty-fifth of the population who can afford an augmentation, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you've got a glitch, and they want you to report. That's right, report to your local limb clinic and get it fixed. <laughs> Whoa, followers! This is a gem in fucking tea. And, and not only do they want you to report to a limb clinic near you, but yup, you guessed it, they want to refit you with a brand spanking new one. Well, good luck, audience. Might as well pick up your ball and chain too while you're there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Interesting. Okay, now let's read these emails. From A. Margulies at si.corp.det to Tio Deming, TYM Condolences. Please inform Ms. Zhao that while appreciated her concern over Seraph Industries' ability to weather recent setbacks, is completely unfounded. Mr. Seraph has no intention of selling his company to Tai Young Medical now or at any date in the future. We respectfully request that you tell Ms. Zhao to cease any and all future communications along these lines immediately. If she will not, Mr. Seraph will have no choice but to view them as hostile and take steps accordingly. Sincerely, Athena Margulies, Executive Assistant, Seraph Industries. From Zhao Yunru to Tio Deming, regarding hostile takeover. No, do nothing for now. The man is stubborn, but he can be broken. Right now, he is trusting to the strength of his connections, those idiots in Washington who keep funding his research. Take away those, weaken their confidence in him, and he will have no choice but to sell. I will advise you when it is time. Z. Tio Deming wrote, Madame, I have received a response, but nothing has changed. Do you wish me to begin approaching the stockholders? Tio Deming, VP Business Affairs, Taiyang Medical Corporation. Alrighty, now let's check out Narhari Khan's office. In his desk drawer, we find two shotgun cartridges, two clips of revolver ammo, and he has a level 4 locked computer. Not a problem for us. Access granted. Nuke virus stop worm 100 XP. From Kelly J at tym.belltower.net to Narhari Khan, Sitrap. 
Sir, we cordoned off the building, but subject has evaded capture. We also exposed and gained entry to a concealed room in the apartment, and are awaiting DSEC to do a deep hack of the hardware. In the meantime, we are conducting a door-to-door -door sweep of the perimeter. Intel suggests subject may have gone underground. Possible source of new info may be the local triad groups, or more specifically, Tong. Standing by and awaiting your orders. From Zhao Yun Ru to Narhari Khan, regarding the subject. Yes, you have permission. He's putting my entire future at risk. Find him and eliminate him. Z. Narhari Khan wrote, Madame, the bar owner knew nothing, but a low life in the Hotel Hung Hua was more forthcoming. The triads are hiding our friend inside the Alice Garden pods. This might get bloody. Permission to go in full force? All right. As we move on... We find some machine pistol ammo. And there's another camera out here, which I was extremely lucky to notice was watching me in time. Let's hide again. Now, I'm actually not sure if there's a hub anywhere where I can shut this camera off. So I may just have to very quickly hack this keypad. Thankfully it's only a level one hack. Too late. Maybe the camera's stupid. Maybe I can move a vending machine when it's not looking and hide behind it. Let's try that because I can't really think of anything else that might work. Considering how little time I have to complete the hack. So, come with me, vending machine. Let's head towards the penthouse. Can you fit through this door? You're certainly not too tall. Looks like you might be too wide though. Alright, that's not gonna work. There is a crate in here, which might do the trick. Excellent. I still don't think this is actually going to work. Probably just need to move as fast as I can. And even that was too slow. Let me try nuking them, so that'll get me through the nodes instantaneously. Even that is too slow. Alright, there's no other security hub, so we're just going to have to take that camera out with our EMP grenade. I'm loath to use it, but I don't really have a choice. There it is. All right. Access granted. All right, 100 XP, a nuke virus, 25 XP, and now the door is unlocked. More than that, though, we can actually check this room out. 
Let's hack this alarm panel. Cannot get to the red. Looks like there's one data store. Access granted. 75, 100 credits, 75 XP, and we, of course, can disable the alarm. Inside this desk drawer, we've got 80 credits, and we have one more unlocked computer. From TYM Security to Shang Li Li, access code for elevator. Please be advised that we have updated the Madame's elevator access code in compliance with your request. It is 6906. At your service, Du Li Rong. From Tang He to Zhang Li Li, new biochip. I just received the new nerve interface protochip the penthouse sent down. Where on earth did she get this device? From what I can tell, it is light years beyond anything our research teams have come up with. You're sure she wants it sent straight to manufacturing without letting research take a look at it first? Kanji and his boys could learn a lot by reverse engineering it. Anyway... This door was unlocked to begin with. Conference room versus VIP access. Of course, the VIP access is actually the <sighs> elevator which takes us to Zhao, so let's check out the conference room first. There is an ebook on the conference room table. Tai Young Medical and You, Corporate History. Tai Young Medical was incorporated in Shanghai in 1977 as a designer slash manufacturer of silicon prosthetic limbs. Throughout the 1980s, TYM grew to become a moderately sized company with two factories in the People's Republic of China and sales all across Southeast Asia. But it was in 2009 when Zhao Yunru, one of China's first and youngest CEOs, brought her unique vision to the company that Tai Young became a name known around the world. Working with the Army of the People's Republic, Yunru's altruism and business acumen cemented an arrangement to supply augmentations to amputee combat veterans, making Tai Young Medical a corporate force to be reckoned with, fueling new expansion across Southeast Asia and growing African markets. Later, in 2017, TYM was invited to take part in the audacious Hengsha Island project, leading to the construction of its corporate headquarters. Now back here, what do we find? Shotgun cartridges and uh, a wall we can punch through. Which would have allowed us to avoid the can't avoid the hack, but I don't know why we'd want to do that. Let me take a look at the beautiful view of Upper Hangsha, and let's ride the elevator up. Hey, Sarif man, son of a bitch, Van Bruggen. Just thought you'd wanna know. I survived that little surprise party back at the hotel. And I'm sailing away from this shithole as we speak. All because of you. You want to thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. I'm looking at your bank account right now and... You know, Sarif really ought to pay you more. Van Bruggen? No need to thank me, man. Just... Enjoy it. <laughs> Added 2,000 credits. Obviously that would not have happened if we did not give Van Bruggen the pistol back at the Alice Garden Pod's ambush. Well, now we just wait for this elevator ride to end, and we'll be in Zhao's penthouse. One of the game's more memorable sequences, I have to say. A lot of blank picture frames, which seems odd to me, but let's check inside these drawers. We have two tranquilizer darts, three stun gun darts, one hypo stim, which I will take with me. A 
You might be wondering about that vent, at least I... I'm sure you're wondering why this vent is necessary. I would think it'd be obvious, but... All the same. Let's check it out. Let's just be aware that it's here. Just trying to check everything out before we proceed farther up. She's got a chessboard, much like David Seraph's. And there's an ebook on this table, along with a Cyberboost Pro Energy bar that I can't seem to convince Adam to pick up. There he goes. Global Politics Review 2026 Edition, Chapter 4 The Indian Sink. India has attempted to replicate some of the achievements of the People's Republic of China with limited success. The outsourcing boom of the early 2000s created a surge in the country's knowledge base, but the fast-forward nature of the new technology-based businesses caused divisions in the populace, creating a new form of stratification in this caste-bound society between the technologically proficient and those who rejected the advance of these new sciences. However, this bounty of innovation was short-lived. Now as the 2020s move toward their conclusion, the boomtown years are apparently over, and much of the Indian subcontinent teeters on the brink of backsliding toward an economic meltdown, mirroring the effects on the Japanese bubble economy of the late 20th century. And the situation has been made far worse by the increase in new viral strains plaguing the common populace. We head over here. Observe that. Remember it. It's important and interesting. Let's check the drawers in this desk. Empty. And three revolver bullets. We have a level three locked computer. Back here, apart from a picture of Zhao herself. University of Beijing. Conferred on Zhao Yunru the degree of bio biology and nanotechnology. Interesting. And we have a level 5 safe. Let's tap the computer first. If I can get to the red, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Access granted. No problem. 250 XP, 300 credits, 75 XP. From Zhao Yunru to no address, no subject. This message has not yet been sent. You gave me a job to do, a tremendously difficult job, but have I not surpassed expectations? Two years ago, Laredo Manufacturing, Inprotech, and Shilong Prosthetics were all formidable companies, controlling important sectors of the global marketplace. All of them now belong to me, to Tai Young Medical. Obviously, I know what I am doing. You have to trust me on this. You must convene the council, and then it cuts off. From windmill at hackernet.net to Zhao Yun Ru. Regarding, I gave you an order. Fine, it's done, but these mercs, fucking scary. Zhao Yun Ru wrote, You don't get to say if it's a bad decision or not. Send everything you've got on Seraph's security systems to the following address and stand by to assist them when I tell you. Gray at omega.di.net. Advise me when it's done. Z. Now, let's check out the safe. As with the other one, we can actually get to the server node. Which is probably the smart way to go. I'm gonna nuke my way to it, because... Access granted. I don't really have another choice. 250 credits, 125 XP. We open the safe, we find 850 credits, a rocket launcher heat targeting system. Which I'll examine right quick, since we haven't seen it before. Red Hot Thermal Targeting Kit. Use heat-seeking capability for rocket launcher. 
Activation. Hold the interaction button to activate and deactivate. Description. A rocket launcher using the Red Hot Thermal Targeting Kit will automatically detect and lock onto a target's heat signature. Rockets fired in this mode will navigate their way on target regardless of where the launcher is pointed. Manufacturer Steiner Bisley GmbH. Now, I don't really have a use for that, but let's check out this pocket secretary. Project Biochip from Encrypted to Zhao Yun Ru. Received news from Singapore. Recent acquisitions temperamental, but less so every day. Isolation is key, especially for lead scientist. Progress on nerve interface accelerates. Should receive blueprints soon. Massive order needed. Montreal on standby to transmit both signal and false flag follow-up. Make sure clinics are prepared. BP. If I really need to spell out what BP stands for, you're not paying much attention. Should be obvious that that is a message from Bob Page, who we haven't seen since the intro cutscene. But apparently he's involved with Zhao. So is there anything else here on the top level? I'm seeing nothing. So let's find out if our ghost and smooth operator bonuses are intact. you got here. Ah! Please! I wasn't... I didn't mean to! Where's Megan Reed? Reed? I... I don't know! Stop lying, Sal. I know you kidnapped her and her team. I know you're out to destroy Seraph Industries. Seraph? I also know you're working with that son of a bitch who left me to die. So where's Megan? No, no, you got it wrong! You think I'm behind it all, but I'm not. I'm just like you, the hired help. You're the head of a billion dollar mega corporation. And you think that would protect me, but it doesn't. These men, they're bigger than Sarif, bigger than Tayo. I'm nothing compared to their ambitions. What are you talking about? Sarif knows, ask him. He thought he could protect his staff with subdermal GPLs. But these men, they control global interests at a whim. One call to Picus, and the implants couldn't be heard. I thought they'd sent you here to kill me. You've got to help me. Please. You've made it this far. Surely you can protect me. Surely. <laughs> can protect me. Huh. Men never fail to underestimate women. Adam, what the hell'd you do? The entire building's on alert. Panic room. She's got a goddamn panic room. Yeah, well, so do I. Forget about her right now. Get to the hangar bay. Fast. Okay, we got Ghost. Alright, so we got Ghost and Smooth Operator for the first section, plus a 750 get th getting things done bonus for confronting Zhao. Our new objective is to escape and get to the hangar, but the problem is this is another one of those permanent alert areas, and we've got quite a few guards to deal with. This is going to be tricky, but let's see, escape and get to the hangar. Damn it. Zhao's locked inside a panic room and guards are on their way. I've got to get out of here fast. Well, actually, we're going to do double takedowns on all the guards. And we're going to do it without getting spotted, but... I shouldn't get too far ahead of myself. See anything? Stop him! Damn. As you can see, the guys, I've got you covered. the guys do move in pairs, but there are just so many that it's going to be a real problem. 
accomplishing takedowns and hiding the bodies in time. Okay, well maybe I should wait at the very top and get those two first. Assuming they're actually going to come all the way up here. I'm going to need all the energy I can get. Who's there? Oh, I bumped him. Big mistake. Well, let's try again. If These two are really coming all the way up here. I should be able to get them without too much trouble. Guess I'll go ahead and use the last jar, free up that inventory huh? space. What's that? That one's got nothing. That one's got a hundred credits and four machine pistol bullets. I'm hopeful that no one else will come up all the way to the top level. We'll have to see. I certainly hope they don't. I might be able to drag those bodies all the way. Uh, I was going to say I might be able to drag those bodies all the way to the vent, but there is a third gentleman. One level below me, who I'm going to have to be careful of. Him. But it looks like he's pretty much chilling by himself. So if I can pull this guy over here. See anything? Yeah, let him catch a glimpse. Cloak up, head down. Take down. He's got a gas grenade. Obviously handy. The other one's got 35 credits. Now these guys... With those two pairs down, I think I can move the bodies I've got so far into the vents undetected. Which will be a big help, for sure. Just for my peace of mind, I certainly don't want to leave them sitting outside. That's four down. Six to go, I think. total for this whole section before we finally leave Hangsha. Could have sworn I saw one heading up here. I must have been, must have imagined it. 
just being paranoid. There's three. Got one more to stash. sure that fall didn't kill him, but I'd better be sure. Yeah, he's fine. Alright. Let's close this vent cover now. Let's see what we still have to deal with. It's like we got three patrollers and two stationary guys hanging at the door. Oh. What's that? I got oh. Should be able to pull the two I just saw together. If I'm cautious. Okay, there's six guys out there. Ten total, like I thought. What's that? You hear someone jumping around over there? Nothing yet. He's around here somewhere. He did a single, but I know that's gonna work. Just not be so trigger happy on the takedown because I know they were close enough together. Six machine pistol bullets, 200 credits, and a pocket secretary. Hangar security hub codes from TYM security to all security staff. For security reasons, we have had to change the login and passcode for the security hub in the hangar. Should you need to access it, please use the following from now on. Login, TYM PHS, password Chi Lin. Thanks. Alright, well, now let's pull these two upstairs. Hopefully unseen. I don't think I need to drag them all the way into the vent. Alright, six down, four to go. We've still got two patrollers and two stationaries over in the back. Huh? <laughs> Nothing yet. Got 
Okay, okay. Got a little too excited just then. But we'll be okay. Stop here! Come. Again, I just held that a little too long. I think I can probably pull both of them up to the landing. If I can get spotted by both. Just enough to make them suspicious. Huh? What's that? The problem is the two big fellas easily have the whole room covered. Maybe the answer is to take them down first and then go for the two patrollers. In fact, that just seems much more sensible, so that's what I'm gonna do. but I'm pretty sure I can get the two stationary riflemen without getting spotted by any of the others. I hope so, anyway. Yes. Now the real question is whether I can hide their bodies in time. And the answer is no. As I thought, I need to somehow managed to pull both patrollers together. Maybe a gunshot is just the thing. Gunshots! This is the spot! Oh, but the, that pulled the rifleman up too, and I really don't want that. I think I need to just time it exactly right, so that I need to pop up when the other one is facing this way, and he can actually spot me. Okay, I think they were both on their way. Good, 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 good. This will work. stayed down. That's not gonna cut it. What kind of weird stuff is going on here? Stop him! I 
I need them both to come up. So I need to take them down up here so the riflemen don't see. Else it won't work. Scott, you're back. Too long. I actually looked up the numbers. We need to be visible for between three tenths of a second and a whole second. Any longer than a full second and they will go hostile. good does it do the other one to stay down below? Ah oh, shit, I could have sworn someone was here. I've got you covered! Well, this is practically all that's left end this segment and call it a video, but it's proving difficult. So the gunshot was too aggressive. That pulled all four up, which I definitely don't want. I got your back! Well, maybe I should go with the gunshot. Where'd the other riflemen go? I'm starting to think I had the right idea trying to take out the riflemen first. Then these two would be easy to deal with. If I could just make sure I gave myself enough time to deal with those guys. They can see that in that position. Still haven't located the target. Well, there's only one way he can get out of the building. He won't get far, that's for sure. He's got a nice surprise waiting for him there. Well done.
I actually think I just about had the time window I needed there. Still haven't located the target. There's only one way he can get out of the building. He won't get far, that's for sure. He's got a nice surprise waiting for him there. Well done. I think we got it. Perfect. So he's got 170 credits and another pocket secretary. TYM Emergency Response Protocol from TYM Security to all security staff. Tai Young Medical Emergency Response Security Protocol Procedures. The following series of security procedures should begin immediately if Dragon Queen's panic room is activated. Secure incursion perimeter. Once perimeter secured, proceed to retake incursion area. Disable infiltrators using whatever means necessary. Maintain or restore business continuity. Prepare to defend against further attacks. Perform counterintelligence intelligence activities where appropriate. Once the incident has been neutralized and infiltrators subdued, resume duties as per TYM security protocol. Response to incursions must be complete and total. Remain vigilant. That one's got 200 credits and a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we got through that clear. So now we can pull those two together however we need to for the last double takedown. Pretty sure they're gonna pass close enough to each other for me to do this. Yep. Done and done. That's all ten guys. So we're just about clear. That one's got five shotgun cartridges, nothing else. We can't take the elevator out, should be obvious. Well, we could try, but. It would be foolish. We need to go this way to the hidden hangar instead. Jensen, I'm coming to pick you up. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. Okay, escape and get to the hangar. One Praxis received. Getting things done, 2500. Ghost and Smooth Operator. Beautiful. So, let's take my... Let's take that Praxis and get another point into hacking Stealth. Stealth 2. And let's do a new Permasave, since we have gotten through the hardest part with Ghost and Smooth Operator intact. The next goal is... Open the hangar bay doors. Malik's flying in for an emergency extraction, but she can't do a thing as long as the hangar bay's doors are closed. Now the hangar is not that difficult to get through. 
we've already read that newspaper. I guess they're giving us one last shot at it. Inside these lockers, we find some heavy rifle ammo. And that's apparently it. This door starts out unlocked. So let's head into here. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. Please disable security bots prior to opening doors. Alright. So we need to take down these box guards, but the best way to do that while maintaining our stealth bonuses means we can't get spotted by them or by the cameras. The security hub is up there in that one building. We got spotted. Can't have that. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. Please disable security bots prior to opening doors. Well, there are a lot of goodies in here which we'll have to track down. I'm just gonna do a pretty straightforward sneak over here. Up these stairs. Your doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. Please disable security bots prior to opening doors. That one's unlocked. Let me see about this one. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. It's pos let me look at the wiki right quick. No, they all start out unlocked. Security bots prior to opening doors. So let's just head over to number one. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect. Hack security the security hub. Level two. Prior to opening doors. Okay, I this is a big hub, and I can't get to the red. So. Oh, we got plenty of time. Good. Access granted. Got everything. 150 credits, 100 XP, a nuke virus, 50 XP. Let's turn the cameras off. Disable the bots. Please disable security bots prior to opening doors. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. Now, I'm not sure what it's going to take to actually destroy the bots. But I do know I want to. Let me see how it goes with grenades. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. No. Plus, how many frag grenades do you think? Or frag mines, Security rather. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. It's like two grenades in a mine for the one. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. 
All right, both of them are down. Hangar doors unlocked. So with the doors unlocked, I think the second computer is the one that I can use to actually open them. But before we do that, Security let's see disabled. what goodies we can unlocked. find in here. I'm hoping at minimum to replace the pistol ammo and copious explosives I had to use destroying those things. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. But that's probably a bit too optimistic. See, inside the security office, there's nothing in the drawers, but on the desk is a Hugh Darrow ebook, 200 XP. Brain implants. Comments by Hugh Darrow on a panel at the 2009 International Gathering of Neuroscientific Researchers. I'm firmly convinced that neurostimulation technology can evolve to a level where it will not only aid those with neural dysfunction, but actually enhance the cognition of normal people. This mechanism, a network of platinum iridium electrodes connected to a subcutaneously implanted pulse generator in either a titanium or G-loop coated capsule, has previously been used to suppress the effects of Parkinson's disease, dystonia, and other neurological conditions. For example, in the case of non-Parkinsonian essential tremor, the electrodes are embedded in the ventrointermedial nucleus, or the thalamus, while the applications for dystonia and symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease, such as rigidity, bradykinesia or akinesia, tremor, and the like, the electrode bouquet is typically inserted into the globus pallidus or the subthalamic nucleus, dependent on patient state. We're already designing the next generation of these devices with wireless dosing protocols and remote application. It's only a matter of allowing ourselves to take the next step and implant a healthy person to go beyond the merely therapeutic application and into the modificatory. Alright. Well, let's head over to that other computer. Check the office for goodies first. Security measures disabled. There's an EMP grenade inside the drawer. Ah, there's the hangar door controls. Let's check out the computer right quick. From Zhang Li Li to Kyle Sadar, Madame Zhao's itinerary. Kyle, here is Madame Zhao's travel itinerary for the remainder of the week. Please be sure to stock plenty of champagne and those bonbons from Brugas that she loves so much, Li Li. Zhao Yunru, travel itinerary. Tuesday, Singapore, departure 0800, return 1730, two hour meeting HD. Thursday, Hong Kong, departure 1000, return 1600, two hour meeting BP. Friday, Shanghai, departure 1200, return 2100, dinner with Chairman T. And here, we hit this button. Getting things done, 2500. Ghost and smooth operator. Beautiful, and we got another Praxis, which I'll use to get Stealth 3. Next, I'll fully upgrade the fortification tree, also hacking. But, our new goal is just go to the chopper and extract. Malik's landed the chopper in TYM's hangar bay. Time to meet her and hightail it out of here. Pretty straightforward, but before we leave, let's just check everywhere for goodies. So we've got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jar hiding in there. That's definitely useful. <coughs> Over here, there's a box of heavy rifle ammo hiding on the shelf, if you're into that. Nothing over here. Over here, we've got rockets. Inside these lockers, there's a frag grenade, more heavy rifle ammo, typhoon ammo. Here's a heavy rifle, and more heavy rifle ammo. Let's check under the pad itself. I don't actually see anything anywhere. Fair enough. Now over here, 
already pretty much checked all this out, so let's check this last catwalk, then the helipad itself, and then we will get out of here, and that will be it. All right, let's go to the chopper and chat up Malik. Jensen, time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. Ready. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're going to Montreal. I'll explain en route. Damn right you will. 750 XP for getting to the chopper and extracting. And here we are. As soon as it finishes loading and playing any intro dialogue, we will save and we will call it a video. Sure about this? I mean, it's not some tiny cable station you're infiltrating. Zal mentioned an Eliza and a phone call to Pikus. Put them together, it has to mean Eliza Kassan is in on this. You don't think that's a bit of a leap? The world's most famous news anchor working with a mercenary hit squad? We can argue the fine points later. Set me down on the tower. I'll get in from the roof. and it's Pritchard. Malik tells me you want Eliza Kassan's location. If it's not too much trouble. It's not. I bypassed the firewall easily, and I've pulled up a 3D model of their floor plan. Her office is in the tower, room 404. On my way. All right, easy enough. So, after that flawless execution of Tai Young Medical Penthouse, we are ready to start, start a new section, Picus Communications. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we will tackle Picus. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.